Dagan Hughes live from Spooky Nook, the Big 60 College Exposure event. Dagan, beautiful day. We're going to have a great day of basketball. Welcome. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's going to be a great day here, obviously, all day. Basketball, can't, it doesn't get better than this, you know? Just playing, playing some hoop. Now, this is a great event. You know, this event was originally started by my high school coach from Bishop Guilfoyle in Altoona, uh, Bill Gaffey, and Bill sadly passed away last year, I believe it was, and um, his kids, his sons, Michael and, and Scott, are here continuing a great legacy of basketball here at Spooky Nook with the Big 60 College Exposure event. You can watch the live stream at www.pahoops.org. The link to the live stream is there all day. All, both courts are going to be live streamed. And we'll call the action for you as best we can. Getting ready to go here. So this should be a good day. Oh, there's our buzzer. <laughs> so we have a girls game on this court. We have maroon and the green. Yeah, technical difficulties there, Dig, and I had to get here. You're good. You're <laughs> yeah. good. Had to take my headset off and get my glasses on. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, we'll have no idea. Yeah, we're all we're good to go over here. Green versus maroon. Green's going to the left. Maroon's going to our right. At the jump ball, and here we go. And the green controls it. Number 89, Maya Whittington out of Indian River. That's down in Delaware. Oh, nice ball movement. This is where you find out. Oh, they're looking to the big inside. Nice basket cut. Oh, way up. Good, number 82. Yeah. Miranda Chupella. Yeah, great cut inside there by Chupella. Getting to the basket. Getting scoring going early here for the green team. Oh, nice hard take. Just rolled off the front of the rim. That was a lot of speed. That, that was Jordan Cook. That was a nice burst. She, she put the ball on the floor and got to the, got to the rim, rim very nicely. You'll see that the game. Oh, here we go. Step back. You're not going to come out and guard me. I'll shoot that. <laughs> oh, just short. And power rebound. No, another one. There we go. I love that. Inside out. Bang. Nothing but the bottom of the net. Number 82, Miranda Chapella from Hazleton Area Academy of Science. And that all started there with a nice offensive rebound by Sierra Rexroad underneath, kicking it back out for the open three. Bang. Yep. Number 55, Caitlin Canada out of James River, Virginia. Beautiful. Right off the dribble. We're getting scoring early here. And they, no, no issue for these ladies waking up here this morning. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> they get their legs under them right quick. Here's another one Ooh, just off the front of the rim. Oh, nice transition break. Wisely decided to turn around, pull it out. Caitlin on the baseline kicks. Oh, look at that. Nice ball movement. Oh, oh and the maroon keeps it alive. Uh, the green control. Kids are down on the floor. The first game, <laughs> <laughs> down on the floor chasing loose balls. A lot of energy here at Spooky Nook early on. Oh, she was nice. Looked for the cutter, and the pass got tipped, but that was a nice play. Ooh, just, that, that was coast to coast. That was Caitlin Canada. She put the, she rebounded the ball and went coast to coast. Oh, that's quick hands. Oh, backcourt, no tip, huh? Yeah, a lot of energy here for our first game of the day. Love to see it. Well, the, def the defensive pressure caused a, uh, a, a backcourt violation. Oh, just short. Number 17, Brianna Height out of Fairview has virtually gotten every rebound. 
Oh, there's another one. Nothing but the bottom of the net. And you've already seen Whittington a couple of times pull up from three. She took that deep three earlier, and now that one from the corner. Yeah, and the, thing, and the thing that impressed me with her, she does what I call her homework early. Her knees are bent, backside was down, hands were up, and right off the catch went right up into the shot. Yeah, pretty good hand check there. She's like, ah, dang it. And yeah, Jordan <laughs> Cook was putting on some pretty good defensive pressure. Well, she got away with the steal yes, a couple possessions was, ago, yeah, so she quick, thought, why not do it again? <laughs> yeah, quick, quick hands, quick feet. A little too much of a bump that time. You better go out and guard this girl. She'll step back and shoot yeah. that. Yeah, like that. Oh, that's short. That was the right idea, though. That, that, that you're going to have to come out and get her. Yeah, and establish it earlier, right? You're going to have to come guard me way out here, way past the three-point line. Just perfect stretches the defense and give your teammates a lot of angles and opportunities. Oh, there was a quick one off the catch. Oh, nice hustle. You love to see that first thing in the morning. The kids are chasing loose balls out of bounds, making the save. Ooh, that was close. Uh, she's missing the range a little bit now, but those are good-looking shots. That's what I tell kids. Just because the shot didn't go in doesn't mean it wasn't a good shot. What is it they say? Shooters shoot? <laughs> That's right. And they have a short memory. Yes. Bang! There's another one that finds the bottom of the net. Caitlin Cannon out of James River. She's making some nice plays on both ends of the floor here early in this one. Oh, there we go. Look into the post. Nice. Oh, good defense stayed with it. I love that little drop, double drop step move that Brianna Hyde from Fairview did. Coming around for the inbounder? No. I thought they were going to swing it all the way. Here we come. Nice take. Oh, beautiful. Was that Miranda Chapella from Hazelton Area Academy of Sciences? Wow. Oh, up ahead. Nice look. Bang, you heard that one. Sierra Rock Rex Road from South Fayette. And a lot of outside shooting so far in this one. Seen a couple of couple of dumps inside, but most most of it have been from the outside yeah. early on. Oh, nice hands. Brianna Height is having a terrific sequence here. Ooh, and one, no. Another nice look, nice pass, Sierra Rex Road. Uh oh, wait a minute. These might be the first free throws ever taken in a big 60. I'm not sure. <laughs> we'll have to get up with the refs about that. Trying to get uh, Coach Gaffey's attention. Oh, nice step back. Bang. Caitlin Keen is another one that's having a great uh, rotation. Uh, no. Wow. We've, we've been saying her name a lot on both ends of the floor. Had a nice block down here a couple possessions ago. A couple of threes on the offensive end. She's been shooting it well. Oh, look at that. Wow. Nice. Oh, big power rebound. Breon Height, if you don't get in front of her on defense, that's going to be a problem. Yeah, especially underneath. She's got a couple offensive rebounds. She's able to get to the glass. And get her team a couple extra possessions. And she, great hands down here on a steal. Yeah. Wow. I mean, and terrific job on the defensive board to turn it around for the green. And I still can't get over the energy here from game one. I know if it was me, for, there's yeah, no yeah. way I'd be playing yeah. with this much energy. For, yeah, for game one, <laughs> yeah, these, <laughs> these kids are amped up and ready to go. So we just had our first set of subs. Um, I think we had three sub in. Oh, that, that was quick. K 
Kira McGowan out of Howell, New Jersey. Wow, that was a she put on a nice burst of speed there to make that deflection on defense. Oh, Maroon settling it down a little bit here. I know that was another deep three, and she <laughs> was thinking about that. Yeah, Lillian Hoyt looked like she wanted to take that one from way behind the arc. And here she will. Yep. Bang. And she made it. Lillian Hoyt out of Hornell, New York. Wow. Oh, this is the big girl bringing the ball. Look at that move. Wow. Sweep it over the top and lays it softly off the glass. Kira McGowan from Howland, New Jersey, 2025. She's a senior. Riley Burns with the defensive rebound, coast to coast. Beautiful pass. Look at that. That was Madeline Patel out of Hatboro Horsham. But wow, her teammate made that happen. Yeah, really nice pass, good vision. And here we go again on the other end, Madeline Gaiman. Mannheim Central. These kids are just ripping the net off. <laughs> Quite the display of outside shooting. And that was a, that was another nice looking shot. I thought that from here, I thought that Patel shot was going in. You know, I like to see this nice ball movement, not playing a lot of one on one. When they have the opportunity, they'll put the ball on the floor and take it to the rim. But the nice ball movement, passing, cutting through the defense. Yeah, we've seen a lot of that ball movement on both sides. Just looking for the open shot, whether it's a three or underneath. And there's Brianna with another defensive rebound. Oh, up ahead. Oh, they have the green has two big. Oh, look at that pass. Oh, missed. Yeah, got a run rebound. What a great pass from McGowan to her teammate Height. I mean, they're the two bigs. They have the, the green. If, oh, hard on the bump. Nice take to the rack, though. That was a nice shot. Right down the heart of the paint. Uh, they're going to... Alasia, that's Alasia Twyman out of Penn Manor shooting a free throw. No. Oh, nice block out. McGowan. Oh, that's some speed. That was a, wow, that was a great take. Dagan right down the wing, cut it right to the hoop. Bang. I mean, just good transition basketball. Get the rebound. McCown goes down the, down the floor, gets it to Patel, misses the layup, offensive rebound, kick it back out for the three. And Burns just ripped the net. Riley Burns from Holy Spirit just ripped the net off again. Uh, they're just taking their time. Nice. That's what you like to see. You don't want to see a lot of one-on-one -on -one playing. Oh, another deep three. Yeah, Medella uh, Kiefer. Oh, look at this. And one. Nope. Oh, there are the two bigs. Kiera, nice soft layup off the glass, rolled off the front of the rim. Brianna Height right there to put grab the offensive rebound and put it back. Right now, very differing styles between both teams. Maroon slowing it down a little bit. Green team pushing it. <laughs> Bang. Madeline Gaiman out of Mannheim Central. All, all these kids just. They've all got good looking shots. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Usually you see one or two kids on that shot. Everybody that's been on the court is just, and taking a shot has just ripped the net off. And the first game. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're only a couple minutes into the oh, first game. Oh, there they tried to pick it with a high screen and roll. Almost executed it to perfection. Coast to coast, Sierra Rex Road from South Fayette. Made the deflection. Garnered the loose ball. Took off with it. 
Turning defense into offense. Easiest way to score. Oh, just short and ah, look at the kids. There they go. Oh, hell, hell ball. Madeline Gaiman for the Maroon went down and tied that ball. Now she's going to put it in play. Baseline out of bounds underneath her own basket. What happened? Oh, Looks like uh, we're getting our next yeah, rotation yeah, here. Yeah, next rotation. Two kids in. Two players in for the Maroon and three in for the Green. I think Brianna's getting a well-deserved rest there. Oh, that was a nice up and under move. Wow. Caitlin Canada, that, that was a nice move in the paint. And she's shown she can already shoot it. So, again, offensive skill set right there. Just showing a little bit of everything. Man, I can shoot it. I can take it to the basket. Doing it all. Quick shoot. And wow. Jordan Cook, the Tattano School down in Maryland. And it was another one digging right off the catch. Yeah. No hesitation. <laughs> Bang. Bottom of the Im net. Very impressive shot. Wow, that girl's going to be a force in the paint. Yeah, yeah let it go. <laughs> I mean, the range tonight, this morning, is is very impressive. Yeah. yeah. They're letting it fly from all over the court. All over. <laughs> this Kira McGowan, the big girl here that's going to catch the ball foul line, just has some really nice, smooth moves. Around. That was a great fight for that rebound, and she's following up again. And what happened here? Oh, Maroon carried it out of bounds. So Green's going to put it in the play baseline out of bounds underneath their own basket. Oh, left-handed through the heart of the paint. Couldn't quite get that to, to drop for her, though. Woo. Another deep three there from Canada. Oh, nice change of direction. Nice scoop just off the front of the rim. Here we go, coast to coast. Oh, nice. Oh, finished with the inside hand. That's a difficult shot for, for some reason. That's difficult for girls to execute that, and she did that exceptionally well. Going to have a loose ball tie-up. Another one that went coast to coast for the Maroon. Lillian Hoyt made the defensive play. Went the whole length of the court. Ooh. Yeah. I think Kier, I think Kier was looking there like, well, I got clobbered on that one, guys. <laughs> Oh, nice hesitation crossover. Look at that block out. That was perfect. Nice hustle to get back into play. All started, though, up on the other end by Maya Whittington's block yeah. out and the yeah. defensive rebound. Yep. That, that's uh, Leah Beebe that came up with that. Nice spin in the open court. Oh, big push. Well, this is, uh, we're witnessing something I don't think has ever happened at the Big Six. It may not happen again. That's right. <laughs> witnessing history here. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah. Actually shooting free throws. We normally don't do that in these games, so we'll have to have a little side conversation with the officials after. Leah Beebe from Northeast Bradford. We'll give him a pass. It's yeah. like I said, it's early. It's that's early for everybody right. but the players in the court, yeah, apparently. Right. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> yeah, they were practicing shooting on the way down there, but one or the other. Oh, quick stop and pop. Nice, nice follow. Maroon just takes, leaving a couple short. Oh, here, look at this. Wow. Great pass, great run of the court. Miranda Chappella, great finish. 
there. Oh, nice hands. Oh, gonna get an in one. No. Wow, that was. Is that BB? Yeah, BB. BB. Yep. We've seen her get to the basket quickly a couple of times, draw a couple of fouls here in the last couple of minutes. Picked great defense, picked mm -hmm. the pocket of the dribbler, takes off, comes down, left handed layup, yep. gets fouled. Make some rips the net off on the first free throw. What have we got? Another uh, nope. line change? Yeah. Line change? Yeah, line change like in hockey. That's and it, lo it looks like we're losing <laughs> our free throw. Maybe they've been told. Yeah, maybe. There's Coach Gaffey over there. Now one more. Are they gonna, are they gonna get? Yeah. Well, our free throw it. shooter went is on the bench. Yeah. So. <laughs> so they, yeah. It's, oh, look at this baseline out of bounds underneath their own basket. Quick basket cut, and Sierra Rex Road gets a layup out of the deal. She's like, yeah, I'm glad they didn't shoot that yeah. free throw. <laughs> Oh, Dagan, that's another one. We heard that over here. Lily and Hoyt, we heard that rip yeah. the net. <laughs> we heard that one, too. That's another one. Here we go. Now we're moving Sierra back Rex and forth. Road. Yeah. It's going to be hard for us to keep up. It's going to be hard for us to keep up, and the referees are going to ask for extra pay. Now, man, we didn't know we were going to run like this. <laughs> Especially now that they're not calling free throws. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's true. The running clock might might help them. Oh yeah, God love them. Well, that sounded a little bank shot. That's the first one of those we've seen today. Yeah, yeah. Caitlin Candy with the with, with the bank shot three. Oh, just missed that steal. Another one hits the bottom of the net. Something sounded funny there, Diggin. I thought I lost my uh, my audio for a second. I think well, I did. I lost it in one ear. That's what happened. Oh, nice step through. Now we should see green out of bounds. Yeah, there here it we is. Go. Baseline. Yeah, now we're, here we go. <laughs> now we got it going. Baseline out of bounds on the foul. On the shooting foul. Green's got a baseline out of bounds underneath her own basket. Off the inbound, no. oh, nice follow. Dribbles to the other side. See how Rex Road lays it in. She's like put, putting in a good little rotation here. Yeah, Got the like inbounds past a couple positions to go. Oh, Nice finish there as well. Madel uh, Madeline Gaiman out of Mannheim Central. Nice finish in the paint. Oh, yeah, yeah. You Left-handed. Look at her just <laughs> relentlessly <laughs> rebounding the ball. She did that in the first couple of rotations. To, and hits the three. <laughs> hits a three. Was relentless on the glass. And then Brianna Height just rips the nut off from the corner. Ba Man. Wow. <laughs> Lillian Hoyt. You know, I've noticed it goes in spurts. We go from playing inside for a couple possessions, then we're just shooting three, and then we're back inside for a couple possessions. Yeah, just ripping the net off. Wow. Seeing it all here. Game one. Really nice cut there from Patel. Just wasn't able to get the finish. Shooting foul. Huh. Brianna Height should have been, I, I don't recall now, but should have been in the state championship game against Bishop Guilfoyle single A. That was won by Guilfoyle.
Fortunately for Guilfoyle, if, if, it, if it was, I'm pretty sure it was Fairview they beat. Fortunately for them, this girl didn't get the ball very much because that, she's a handful. Ooh, rattled out. Yeah, Height's just been relentless on the, on the offensive glass. Something that's very valued in the game of basketball, especially these days. Get extra possessions as much as you can. Oh, beautiful screen and roll to height and gets it to go left-handed. Yeah, very beautiful. nice finish. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. They execute the screen and roll like they've been doing it together for the whole <laughs> season. That was perfect. Just the way you drew it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that's right. Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. Cross-court cross pass. Height easily stepped in for that steal. Oh, nice shot fake. Oh, and just rolled off the front of the rim, but Miranda Chappella, I love that shot fake. Nothing, no big hard movement, just looked up. Well, and the way they've been shooting it, now you're going to have to, you got to step out. <laughs> you have no choice. Oh, my, yeah, that, everybody just really playing hard. Fighting for every rebound. Kids are on the floor going for loose balls. You love to see that. Mm -hmm. Well, we got 10 minutes to go in the game. First game went by pretty fast. Oh, my. Yep. Just rolled off. Oh, the green controlled that loose ball. Oh, I thought she was, oh, beautiful pass. Great basket cut, beautiful pass. Height, rebound. Another two for her, holy cow. Really nice pass there from Rex Road into Chapella. Just wasn't able to finish, but Height was there to clean it up. Nice spin move. Nice spin move on the block. Madeline Gaiman out of Mannheim Central. That, that not, she executed that spin move quick. Decisive. Mm -hmm. The nice part about that move, she got her swing foot around behind the hip of the of the defender, and that's what drew the foul. Oh, hell ball! That hell ball, Kira McGowan really created that with her intense pressure out here on on the perimeter. Oh, reverse layup and good. 56. That was uh, Alasia Twyman. That was a beautiful drive and reverse. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the bottom of that. I'm pretty uh, sure everybody's made at least one three in yeah. the game. I'm not sure we haven't yeah. said somebody's so. name from deep. <laughs> Now a nice move inside. Kira McCown gets her own rebound and draws the foul on the other end. Oh yeah, and they get the twin that the Green's got the twin towers yeah, in there yeah. now. Yeah, holy heck. <laughs> oh, nice inside out. There you go. Yeah, definitely a height disadvantage here for the Maroon team. <laughs> oh, look at this speed get back. She missed the shot. Got back in the play. Madeline Patel missed the shot, but got back on defense. There it is from the short corner. Uh, Leah Beebe from Northeast Bradford. She's just a junior. Oh, spin move in the paint. Kicked it out. Short. And... Oh, okay. Room was out of bounds, so... Green's going to be bringing the ball up. Left, uh, right to left for the green. Here we got Kieran McGowan, one of the bigs, bringing the ball up to the center of the court. Oh, nice. There was another one. Shot fake finish. Yep, thank you. Yeah, tough one being a defender today. You have to go out to defend the three-point line the way everybody's been shooting it. So just 
tough task around the uh, around the arc today. Oh, nice pass in the paint, and there. Look at stout defense again by Height. The kid's been everywhere. Short. There she is, creating another tie-up. I feel like Height's been on the court a lot. I mean, obviously, only a couple of subs for both teams, but I feel like she, we've said her name a lot. A lot. <laughs> wow, what a terrific shot, Kira McGowan from Howell, New Jersey. She's a se She's also a senior. Nice. I like the way they did defended that. Leah Beebe jumped jumped the screen there. And I've been really impressed with her defensively. She's had a couple of steals uh, up here at the top of the key. She's also been able to get inside and cause some havoc. Yeah. Um, so she's really been playing well defensively. That dribble handoff there, she jumped that and, and caught. Oh, look at that step through. Again, high off the glass, a scoop. Caitlin Canada, she's had a ter couple of terrific rotations. There's another evidence. Bigs run the floor. They got to give them the ball. Mm -hmm. but just a little too high, but Brianna did a nice job running the floor. Uh oh. Yeah, she left it for a teammate, for a teammate. Oh, here we go. She did just run by everybody. Burst of speed. Karen McGowan. Yeah, really, really nice job running the floor off the steal. Just a little miscommunication from Maroon there resulted in a nice breakaway layup. Yeah, and I mean, McGowan just put the ball on the floor and just out, yeah. out ran the defense on the dribble. And five minutes left to go in the game. This will be our last substitution rotation. Three in for the green, two in for the maroon. Oh, yeah. Look right into the big, nice basket cut. Oh, That was great. Did she deflect that? I don't know if she deflected it, but she but didn't she, have to alter the shot. Did, yeah, and it's McGowan. just as good. <laughs> I mean, that was incredible burst of speed for a big to get down the floor that fast and, and alter the shot. Nice follow-up down there on the Maroon team by Twyman. Get the finish as well. Oh, on the on the Maroon yep. end, yeah. Yep. Oh boy, stop and pop again. Number 51. Wow, Lillian Hoyt. Lillian's had some terrific rotations. Beautiful shot, Bacon. Oh, just couldn't re quite recover the angle. Sierra Rex, a beautiful shot, fake out of the corner, drove the baseline, couldn't quite get catch the angle coming back for the layup. Another deep three. On the other end here, a quick turnover by Maroon back the other way. Kira McCown in for the layup. Okay. Oh. Taking care of a few house cleaning, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> housekeeping. Sorry for the. <laughs> yeah. So the kind of went dead there for a minute, but oh, beautiful. Great post move, Turn, pivoted one way, moved the defense, came back the other way, Miranda Chappella finished. Beautiful, nice post present presence. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, here we go. Quick transition out. Nice run of the floor. Nice layup. Left-handed, number 89, Maya Whittington from Delaware. Indian River, Delaware. Great run of the court. Oh, and there we got an easy layup. Smart play by the Maroon. Great heads-up pass. And number 51, Lillian Hoyt, got the layup. A long one. Ooh. A good foul there. BB missed her three-pointer, followed it up, got her own rebound, and finished with the layup. Easy two. Uh, Dagan, I'll run down our uh, MVP selections here. And I think they're both... Yeah, they're both yeah. out. Yeah. <laughs> they're both yeah, out. Yep. Yeah. All right, as we continue here, we got just over a minute left as it's Hoyt passing it off to Twyman here for the Maroon squad. And top of the key three from Jordan Cook, just short, and that'll fall out of bounds. And we're headed back the other way. BB will bring it up for the green team underneath Whittington. Nice turnaround jumper there from the short corner as we're approaching the 30-second mark here in game number one from Spooky Nook. Jordan Cook quick blocked by McCallan. We're going the other way. Rex Road forward to Whittington. Back over to McCallan. That'll be out of bounds. The Green will retain possession with 20 seconds remaining here. Obviously running clock, so time is ticking down. Rex Road, nice move inside with the left off the back of the iron. And rebounded by Kiefer. Push it up, and as time winds down here, Kiefer at the buzzer off the glass. No good. And that will take us to the end here of game number one. <laughs>